Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla, and before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so we know if I post more videos. Do you want to see something scary? Yes, I'm a Scorpio. Of course, I want to see something scary. Okay, today's video, I'm going to be discussing some Stu clues because I recently did a, a, a rewatch of Stu 3 and it's mainly in the opening scene and maybe one scene afterwards that I thought was interesting, but mostly the opening scene. I found a piece of uh, evidence. I know, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. No, I just found some interesting Stu clues or stuff that could be Stu. Okay, at this time, Stu was meant to come back, to say. Okay. So this was the first clue that I found in the opening scene, when Cotton is in his car and he's talking to, and he's on his phone. I need to, I am so nearsighted. Okay, yeah. The first person talking to Cotton on the phone sounded like a female. To me, that sounded like Angelina. Wait a minute. I your voice. You sound a lot like that guy on TV, um, uh, Cotton Weary. I do, huh? Yeah. I think he's got a really sexy voice. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Wait a minute. You are Cotton, aren't you? Oh, my God. I am talking to Cotton Weary. I can't believe this. <laughs> you got me. Look, I've, I've got someone on the other line. Can you hold on one second? I'll be right back. I promise. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's another Stu clue in here. I'm editing and I rewatch it. I don't know if it's before or after the clips I've shown you, but Cotton Rary says, I'll be right back. I think he's on the phone with somebody. <laughs> that snuck in there. <laughs> so, uh, you a big 100% uh, Cotton fan? Yeah, 110%. <laughs> Later on in the film, we see Angelina be like a fangirl, like trying to take all the ghost face stuff as souvenirs. Yeah. Yeah, we see that in the bathroom scene with Sydney. Now, excuse, I have, <laughs> I have a whole lot of traffic going on. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah. Oh my God, Sydney Prescott. Oh my God, I'm Angelina Tyler, I'm you. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I was. I thought, well, well, if there's no movie, then no one would care if I took some souvenirs. Souvenirs? I may never win another role, so these may be my only memories, you know, of Hollywood. I, I know it's weird. But as I was watching the car scene, I noticed how quickly, like, the voice changes. Why don't you tell me who you are? Ooh, you're a naughty boy, Cotton. Now, what would your girlfriend say? What makes you think I have a girlfriend? I know you do. I'm right outside her bathroom door. Yeah, how quickly it changes into a male voice. And we see later on that woman has a voice changer. With everyone's voice. I'm thinking maybe there's more than one of those voice changer devices. With everyone's voices. Roban voice changer in a closet. What the hell? Along with Billy and Stu's dated phone. <laughs> Because Roman would have that kind of technology. Yeah, you know, like, what if we use a female voice at first to, like, lure Cotton and then change into a regular male voice? Also, Dewey was working for Roman. If Roman was looking for Sydney, why would he go th through Cotton when Dewey is right there? Yeah, that's the way they mentioned. <laughs> okay, that was, like, the first clue that I got it picked up on. The second, <laughs> technically, is Norbox clue. They picked up on it. This is the first clue that I picked up on during the recent rewatch of it. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Yeah. Christine is in our house. She's being chased by Ghostface. She locks herself in their home office. Ghostface is using Cotton's voice and mentions the game. And when was the last time we heard that word? Stu Mocker in the third act of 90 and Scream 1996. He tell, Stu tells Sydney, all part of the game, Sydney. <laughs> Why are you doing this? It's all part of the game, Sydney. And then in Scream 3, this ghost face says, like, I didn't mean to, yeah. This ghost face tells Christine, like, I didn't mean to scare, scary. I was just trying to take the game to the next level. <laughs> what are you doing? What? What the fuck are you doing? I, don't, I was just, you know, trying to take the game to the next level. I'm sorry. Come on, open the door, the Chris. Yeah, the game. <laughs> and there's Stu Clue in here as well, because I believe Stu is on the phone talking to Casey. And then he also mentions, like, how much fun it's going to be to rip your insights out. <laughs> and then in the opening scene of Screen 96, the ghost face on the phone with Casey says to see what your insights look like. Yeah. <laughs> Another little stew clue there. <laughs> like, two little stew clues in, in the opening scene. Okay. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how much fun it's going to be to rip your insides out. Now open the fucking door, Christine! What do you want? To see what your insides look like. I have one more. One more theory. I know there's a few more, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stick with three. Okay. This is the last one. Okay, yeah. Sarah's on the phone with Roman, or who we think is Roman. She mentions that... Why am I shouting? My boyfriend has been... Uh, cut into fish sticks and then the ghost face on the oh wait <laughs> I'm making up all my little scenarios yeah she just mentions that my boy's been cut up into fish sticks and then in 1996 the ghost face on the phone with Casey Becker mentions hang up on me again and I'll gut you like a fish <laughs> and that is the parallel and also it could be a stew clue so I'm not happy that I have to die naked. And I'm not happy that my character is too stupid to have a gun in the house after her boyfriend's been cut into fish sticks. Listen, asshole! No, you listen, you little bitch. You hang up on me again, I'll cut you like a fish, understand? That is all the clues that I have for today. I know there's more, but I just wanted to share those three pieces, those couple of things. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell when I put up more videos. Leave your thoughts and theories on any horror movie of your choosing in the comments below. I would love to hear them and other content that you would like to see. So, yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.